Okay, we go. What is up, guys? It is Bazzy here today, back with another video. We are going to get just straight into this today. If you guys are welcome to the video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe. We are getting into this. I have some vital information, guys, about the new jetpack that was on Fortnite Intel and how it might work or how it might work, the new modes it will have and how this is going to be implemented into the game. So we're actually just going to start straight off. If you guys enjoy the video, as I said, make sure to subscribe, like, that'd be amazing, guys. But this is the new update that will be coming uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what time, but this is with the new jetpack, guys. This is how it's going to work. Everything. Like, this is seriously some real information. Now, it's not confirmed, but Fortnite Intel are usually right on everything. They predict, like, the skins. Uh, they predict this as the suppressed SMG. A lot of things. So, uh, if, if you want to say this is confirmed, then go ahead, because I'm most likely going to be saying that this will be what's going to be happening i would not be surprised if this is correct and i'm going to put my trust into them because they have been right with a lot of other things but guys starting off with the jetpack so it says here uh epic games announced earlier last week that we would be seeing a jetpack introduced into fortnite battle royale despite originally being planned to release with patch uh version 3.1.0 which was the last update but it got delayed till this week uh, and it was delayed due to a last minute design issue, is that what they said, uh, as they said. Um, so, basically, found in the in-game files, it's known to be, or it looks like it's going to be using fuel. So, it will have a power source and something that can run out, so it's not an infinite use or, you know, a one-time use thing like the jump pad. Alright, so it says, with sounds added to the game styles, such as a fuel up and fuel out and fuel warning, it's clear the jetpack is not something you can use indefinitely and will be re and will require um, refueling. So, it's not something you can use definitively, uh, definitively and will require refueling. Sorry, I butchered that word. But, uh, the method for doing this is currently known, uh, is currently unknown. However, as it says there, along with this UI, we'll have a new fuel bar gauge next to jetpack while equipped. That's pretty cool, so you'll be able to see how much fuel uh, it has and all that. But guys, this is where it comes on to where my speculations are that you will be able to refill this jetpack by going up to a gas station and like standing there for say 10 seconds as long as you takes to use a med kit and that basically fills up the jetpack. What do you guys reckon that I reckon that'd be such an awesome idea if they implemented the gas stations in the Fortnite So you'd have to go around, you know they're, they're quite often around the map and you'd have to go around find these gas stations and use those To fill up your jetpack. I think that'd be really cool and it would enter implement more of this You know making this item harder to use and you know needing more thought and you know You can't just pop this and then you know you got to actually think and use your fuel wisely and all that type of stuff So I think that'd be cool so the next up is the next ne next thing they say here is actually having two types of modes. So the second mode would be a hover mode. So obviously the first one would be like when you can just fly around, go up and down and all that. But a hover mode will be as uh, hinted in the game files. The jetpack will have an ability to hover in which will presumably use less fuel and accelerating, uh, less fuel than accelerating upwards. This would make you an easy target. However, it's probably not wise to use this too often in, during a uh, combat. So basically, this could be something where you could hover in the air and say, shoot people, but you would at the same time be staying still and would be limited on how much you can move, which would make you an easy target. So that's like, you know, how they're going to balance it out and all that, which I think would be really cool to have two modes, like a hover mode and a sort of like skirt skirt mode where, you know, you fly around and all that. So I think that'd be cool. Um, as I said, you guys, I'm, I think this is going to be an absolute, I don't know if I did say this, but I think this is going to be an absolutely great thing to bring to the game. You know, there's a lot of people that think it's going to ruin Fortnite because it ruined Call of Duty. You know, it means Epic Games are going to do the same thing and ruin their game. But Epic Games, Activision, they're two different, they're two different game developers and, well, actually, a Activision are the publishers, but they're two different companies, franchises, they're not going to screw it up. Epic Games have not screwed anything up, and I doubt they will. I um, mean, besides Tilted Towers, I don't know about that, but items-wise, they've not screwed anything they've added to the game. Okay, so the last thing that was on Fortnite Intel and that is speculated to be coming into the game soon as well uh, uh, with this um, jetpack update basically is a limited time mode, which it says here, the jetpack will feature as the main item in an upcoming limited time mode. Take to the skies, 
which, uh, according to the Storm Shield one, is an only game uh, is the only gamer that will currently has the jetpack on the loot table. So basically, this LTM game mode will be the only way you can get the jetpack. So it looks like it might not be incorporated into the full game just yet. They might use this game mode to test it out to really fine tune and balance it before they add it to the real game. So yeah guys, that is basically it for the video. That is all the information that we've seen about how the jetpack will work with a hover mode, um, the refill mode, and you know, it will have like its own fuel and power that we will have to refuel it. And I think these things are absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for this item. Streaming it, videos on it, here first on the Bazza channel. So make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you're new, uh, put on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And uh, yeah, guys, bye-bye.